Good morning. Well, we've had a good run through First Peter. I hope it's blessed you in some ways as you've been able to uh, take part in engaging these thoughts for the day. So here's the final thought from First Peter, and we finish up the book, the letter. First Peter 5.14 Greet one another with the kiss of love. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. Of course, this isn't a strict command that today we should uh, greet one another with a kiss, per se. But the kiss of love in that day was the way of uh, greeting one another with a welcome warmth in community and in the local church. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. Um, in, in the upheaval of exile, Peter wants them to have peace. And I think this little exhortation at the end is important. Greet one another. Greet one another. You know, I'm not going to be able in my life to live in exile alone. I'm not going to be able to persevere alone. You will not be able to make it alone. You were made for community. You were made for connecting with people. And you know what? As, as sometimes as insignificant as the concept of greeting may seem, just the notion that you know there is a place of acceptance in the local church and in the local community, that there is a context where you will be welcome warmly, is in and of itself a remarkable encouragement as you walk in a fallen world. So you can have that and you can give that. My encouragement to you is twofold. One, make sure you're plugged into a local church so that you can experience what it is to be welcomed in Christ in a world that will not welcome you if you're following Christ. Secondly, be a part of greeting one another. Be a part of engaging one another with a welcome and a sense of at-homeness where people can feel with all their baggage, with all their brokenness, with all their disappointments, that the local assembly is a place where they can be and they can be loved and accepted and embraced. May the Lord encourage you, and may the lessons of First Peter burrow deep in our hearts and lives.